Thank you so much, Chama. Uh, it's good to have you again. Um, uh, you will come and help us about the, the latest transfer rumors. This week we saw that there is a lot of transfers that we are confirmed. Gambian players move, making moves. I think the biggest one we already discussed about that one. That was um, uh, that was Yanko Minte making a move. Uh, we saw the two Real Dibanyul players, um, uh, Mohamed, Mohamed Suso and Abdullah Sise. They also made a move to, to Paide. And then you have Mamin Sanyang. Um, he moved to, to, to a club in, in Poland, second tier. We have Ali Sow also making a move to another club in top in Turkey. And um, you know, and our our brother um Sirif, who's also I think watching watch, watching this program, he made his first move with Momo Momo uh, Momo Jata, taking him to um Bosnia. Um, yeah, there were a lot of moves happening and in the in the in the, in the women's section too. We we see um uh Kante making a move to Seville. So, yeah, there were a lot of moves happening regarding Gambian players. So, in terms of upcoming moves, what can you tell us about that are moves that are imminent, that, that could be possible, possibly happening soon? There are a lot of transfers that already have been confirmed in Gambian football. Um, mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of them happen. Some players move on permanent basis from one club to another. Some you know, alone, you know, which is very massive. Like, like I said mm -hmm. in our last segment, I think, you know, we will not have um, the same flow of transfer like we did last summer. But yeah, we also expecting a good number of our players making a move this this, this summer as well. Um, mm -hmm. We've witnessed um, the likes of Ibrahim Koli. We have witnessed the likes of uh, the ones that you've just um, shown us in the, in, on the screen. Mamin Sanyang, who, for, for me, I think, now we'll have a chance to to show himself recently in germany when he yeah. moved from bayern munich to hanover you know he was playing with the hanover under 23 since he moved yeah. last summer but he played a few games and yeah even though he helps them to um, gain promotion to the Jamaica or that i think you know something like that so mm -hmm. he now moved to police second tire and i'm so right he's going to get the minutes that he needs you know to show himself and yeah. prove himself you know so is that 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 mm -hmm. transfer that really I, I like among all the ones that really happened in the recent days, and yeah we've seen Momodu Jata, who recently signed with Ebano Sport, uh, Sports Agency, Gambian own agency. Yeah. He also moved um, mm -hmm. to uh, Bosnia, you know he signed with mm -hmm. uh, FK Sarajevo. Uh, that's a very mm -hmm. good that's a very good move for him, you know. And we have to say a big kudos to uh, Sirif Emery Jaju, the agency Definitely. that representing the boy, and they've really made his dream come true i saw a conversation mm -hmm. him with one of his friends that he doesn't post on instagram and the friend asked him why are you not posting your pictures on instagram even though you're playing with um a big club like Bangalore united he told a friend that you know i wouldn't be posting my pictures on instagram until i sign my professional contract if i sign mm -hmm. my first professional contract then i'm going to put up the pictures on instagram and now mm -hmm. he signed he has signed his first professional contract and i'm sure we will be seeing him on instagram so this is this is a dream for, yeah. for the young star who recently played Definitely. with the other 20. you know so he's he's among a few that really made their moves confirm so coming to players that we will be expecting um that mm -hmm. are very eminent i can say right now is one player that is idris assise um of mm -hmm. um asc Zaraf in senegal we all know it is as he yeah. say. He was recently part of the national team call-ups and he made his debut. Mm -hmm. He played, he played, you know, he played his um um debut game and he played two only two games, you know, against yeah. Sekeles and against Gabon. So he's a player that mm -hmm. we should be expecting in the coming days. He will be confirming his move to a new club in Europe. Um Sabia to be specific, to be specific, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, so just some few documentations left, then hopefully he could make a move. Forward. So, yeah, another one we could also be expecting, you know, is our own captain, Umar Kuli, who we understand this morning that um, there are talks between Besitax and a Saudi Arabian club. I told you last mm -hmm. time on this segment that, you know, yeah. hopefully he could be leaving. And if he's to leave, I'm not expecting him to go back to Italy. He could go to any mm -hmm. other European uh, European league, but not Italy. I'm not expecting Italy. And my my high expectation is that he could be making a move to Saudi Arabia. And today, this morning, I understand there are there are talks, you know, between Besiktas and a Saudi club 
we all know Saudi, the moves that are happening in Saudi, it's mainly mm-hmm. not handled by the clubs, you know. Um, there, 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 is, there is a specific body within the, the Saudi Football Federation that, you know, facilitate all this move, you know, in the needs yeah. of, the, of the clubs. So, yeah. Let's see what will happen. But um, he mentioned some interesting names, uh, some interesting revelation. Idris um, Asise. I'm sure every Gambian would love to see him make a move because we all see the potential in him when he played the two games for Gambia against mm-hmm. Cesar and Gabon. Everybody, um, yeah, yeah. you can have a sir. Rihamen Nekini, yeah. he's a huge potential and he can serve the Gambia national team for a very long time in a very problematic mm-hmm. position yeah, yeah. that we have. Um, what do you make of that? Yeah, it's it, it, it's it's very good number because even um, when Kalda Kalda last month contacted my job this week earlier this week, you know, sir, I I took a picture with him. You know, sir, I'm going to do what I'm. Yeah. Like yeah, when I call, when I call, when I call, just keep it up. We are about not they didn't know because I'm so, I'm surprised why so many Gambians cannot remember it. I'm a little more surprised mm-hmm. by it. Like mm-hmm. the Afcon that we played in uh, in in um, was it Mur- uh, Mauritania mm-hmm. when Ramon was going to the team. Yeah. I think he was he was our best defender. Although although Ama was 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 part of the team of the tournament, but for me he was our best defender. You understand? Yeah. So he had a good good great competition there. Munyo had to play while dancing league, but it seems like people are more interested in the national team than the general teams. Then again, yeah. understand? You know, national team, and he has he has composed himself. It's been like he's like he's, he's been there for the past five six years. He was so comfortable, mm-hmm. was yeah. so by and one now doing swing analysis analysis after the game. Man, yeah. it, it looks more comfortable in the ball than even our captain. Yeah. You understand? So yeah, and I hope I'm, 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 I'm a good move. Just whatever time I'm, I'm sure it's not the 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 because you know, all time. Yeah, all the best. Yeah, all the best to him. Bebele Kini, now to that. Um, uh, Dabo, no, uh, you because you're you you you're here from Banjul United, so you know a lot about Banjul United. What do you know about him? Before my, my speak, see that so why you believe Well, um, Kini, I like it. Wow. Okay. No, I did not. What did not. Well, for the was it Scooter or Blamen? I'm not going to go by his brand. For Scooter, I'm going to play Gino Sturman. I think Sir, the 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 Sir, Mm-hmm. He was one of our positive. He was one of our best players in midfield because mm-hmm. he was playing very well. To be honest, he had a, he had a good yeah. good competition. Understand? Mm-hmm. Then Mag- Magis, he has been. He's he's one of the main main men or main man rather, sorry, at Bayern United. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and Bayern did very very good things about him. Last two weeks ago, like he signed up to a new agency. Le Magis made a move. So I think I think. Gambian footballers are moving up the ladder. The national mm-hmm. team should also follow suit. Hundred percent. And another player, another player, we say we we mention more like Mamin Sanyang because after the, after when the Messi World Cup under twenty B, everybody was talking about Mamin, especially that goal he scored against France. France had a very good team. Munyo Duga score for goal, goal, goal. That was our best goal in the tournament, Bobby. Maybe uh, with Adam Abu and Gobum score against 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 Honduras. But I think Mamin Gobum score it was more technical because there was a lot involved in that goal. Pace, you know, and then placement, proper finishing. Yeah, Everybody was to Hamga. Total, exactly. Total e- e- exactly. Then all of a sudden, Mudem would drop, Mudem Hanover. But Mudem Hanover it did not work as planned. Understand? They could play regularly. Can they have to do the affair? Hanover sent go on loan to another club. So there was, he was out of the out of the radar for a whole year. But now he's making a move from Hanover to a second tier team in Poland. I'm I'm sure some people will say they don't like to see those kind of things. Players jogging from Bayern Munich, them Hanover, we play them down. But sometimes. In your career, you have to make this kind of moves to me because get four hundred million opportunity to play. But what do you make of uh, of this move for Mamin? Okay, Chama, definitely, man. 
Uma o filho, a mamãe me deu mistério, by living by. You know where I'm, I'm not like be 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 right. Come, don't feel like mom da. Don't don't don't. Cigarra. Why mam puma da fofa ya kamti? Because so holy right now, current transform here, money me right now. Okay, most of these middle middle class teams, okay, they are more focused on on these young players playing in 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 the big teams of top club. Mm -hmm. I've just seen a Bayern San Bernardo sign Nengo, mm -hmm. like around three million euros Nengo signing. Understand? So, like you're in teams with Ayer United again, teams you're looking players, you're going to see fully digitally players. How are you going to sign? So, my man should have been patient. Understand? Because he's not like I'm not 22, 23. I think he's around 20 years. Mm -hmm. I think he's 22 or 21 years. He's, he's 22 now. Understand? I think. I think he's 22 oh, he's now. 22. Or oh, 21, 21 or 22 now. Mm -hmm. For it? Do you know? Who <laughs> can you help us? How old is he? Who, who, who is that? Mamin Sanya. Mamin Sanya. Mamin is, Mamin is 20 now. 20, I think, yeah, 20. Okay. 20. So, Mona yeah. was no place. They make that big decision yeah. when they turn 21. Yeah. Okay. But for the young man, it's time to make the, 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 the next step. So when you the handbox, I was like, it's a good move for I thought it, sorry, Hanover, I thought it, you will have more um, no playing time with the first team. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. With the first team. But unfortunately, it didn't work for him. Going to Pulantam is not a bad, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing. Because people will say, how can you leave the, the Bundesliga and go back and go to Poland? Understand? But then again, he needs to play football. And if this, mm -hmm. that, that Polish team say they will give him the opportunity to play football, now it's up to him. To, to make sure he get the numbers that will that will take him back to the to, to, to the top leagues. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely. De definitely. Yeah, for we were discussing about Captain Omar Koli and then the internet court. So can we can we continue with that one? Yeah, let me just make a quick one because I'm so the network is just getting so yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, okay. um just like I said, Omar Omar Koli, Omar Koli is someone that we should also be expecting who hopefully he could make a move, you know. Uh -huh. Hopefully he could also stay because I have seen at some point that he wants to stay, but you know, Bessie Dax also wants to make some money. So maybe Omar Koli could be done with those players that they want to make money out of. So another player that also right now he's on the verge of leaving a club to another club and he has received a lot of offers. I've been always updating about him. Is our young mm -hmm. midfield star that is Mamudu Bajo. Mamudu Bajo um, received an offer um, from a French club, I think a big, big one for the matter. But then you know, it doesn't meet the demands of his club, you know, and mm -hmm. he's received offers also from other, other Scandinavian leagues and other top West, West uh, European clubs, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but right now, all these clubs have not met the demands of the of the club, so they're still mm -hmm. trying to push hard to see how best they can acquire the signing of, of the young star. So, let's see, hopefully in the coming days, the club will try to compromise, you know, and see, you know, how best they can let the boy leave. Even though some offers for me, I think they're very reasonable. But then again, we just have to see, you know, what happened because this involves parties. And yeah, everyone is, like I always say, everyone is trying to protect their interests. You know, mm -hmm. hopefully, Mamudu will also make a move, you know, to a new club from um, Zelensia and Ipopre Zova in, Slo uh, in Slovakia. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, another one also is Sedukan. Sedukan have received offers from clubs in France. In front in the French league and also Saudi Arabia and the MLS, yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, it is a, is a very you know tense issue right now. He is also negotiating with the club to see how best they can compromise um, and see a reasonable offer that they allow him to leave. You know, I'm mm -hmm. very sure the boy the boy will want to leave for a new chapter. But yeah, um, Swindon Town will also want to see what 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 is best for them before allowing him to leave. So. Negotiations are ongoing on both sides to see mm -hmm. which offer is best, then they will allow him hopefully to leave before they are the summer. Um yeah. uh, I think uh, for right now, these are ones maybe I, I sent you a list, but I don't know if I have forgotten any. But then again, yeah. I've I've not been very okay. That is why I'm not very active on the social media these days. But then again, there are a lot, lot, lot happening behind the scenes when it comes to our transfers. Yo, take 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 care of yourself. It's, it's the rainy season, so I, I I know a lot of you know, 
uh, sicknesses uh, around around in the, in the country. Che was complaining, like, was telling me actually about his household with some illnesses there. But also the other player uh, we did not mention is Bukar Tambedu. He went and um, started firing straight away when he joined his club, uh, his new club. Um, first game, first yeah. friendly game, he scored a couple of goals. He's already a fan favorite if you see the videos and um, uh, on his social media. Um, it's, a, it's a great start for the boy, huh? after sitting out for almost a few months without playing. Yeah, so, Buba, Buba, is having, Buba, Buba is having, you know, an incredible talent, you know, to be honest with you. Mm. Um, we've, we've all seen what he has done at Payday. You know, he was a very important player for them. He played in the Europa Conference League. You know mm -hmm. qualifiers and as well i think in the europa league i'm not if i'm not very you know wrong you know so i think yeah he has been a very important player for for Pedi. and he moved to the moldovan giants that is fc Sirif, and we have seen mm -hmm. what he have done there too mm -hmm. you know but yeah he's you know career have been hit by a lot of um or some you know you know and he one or two eyes you know stumble along the way so comes back and again try to get back to where everyone expect him to be and now we seeing him um mm -hmm. with uh dinamo batumi in uh in georgia in georgia yeah. expect him to, yeah. to hit. hopefully we can see him back to the top leagues again like his colleague ibrahim singade he's playing for slavia praha mm -hmm. you know he's a player also hopefully could be making a move again to maybe a temporary move from Slavia Praha to, to another club. But yeah, he's he's very he's doing very well in Europe. So Ibrahim uh, Bubakar is, is is a good start for him in the preseason. He scored two eyes against a club that they played with. And yeah, hopefully he can keep up this momentum and start the season very well. And yeah, within a time frame he can he can get back to his best and start playing in the top leagues. Yeah, yeah, full. Thank you, thank you very much for your time, and thank you for for the for the update. I know you are not feeling very well, so please take care of yourself because we need you. <laughs> yes, yeah, this coming days we really need you. Coach, you have anything to say before full leave? Well, I want to ask him a question about about um my boy Mahmoud Bajo because we've had that um a top Slovakian team. I I mean the champion of Slovakia wanted him, so I think Chama. What we had was like the deal was almost done. So now you say you, you just said that a team a top team in France wants him. So what is the solution there? No, no. Um, I think at the, at the onset we said that um, Slovakian champion that is SK Slavia, um, Bratislava. They 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 made an offer. They made they were the first club to make an official offer for him. You know they placed an offer, and that time negotiations were ongoing. I think. According to our post, that's what we really talked about. That there were negotiations, and they were trying to see how best they can come to terms, and then they do, the deal could happen. So, but it went on. Zalaziani were asking for for more than what um, Slovan Bratislava offered, and yes, negotiations still there in in future. Bratislava are on the table. They are still negotiating to see whether they'll be the right club for the boy. And other mm -hmm. offers came. I think a few days ago again I posted that you know a fresh fresh offers also came from mm -hmm. from France, from other West West European clubs, and yeah, from 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 Latvia even Latvia, Latvia also. There, there, there is an offer from Latvia, you know, for the boy. So right now it is really difficult, you know, they're trying to see how best they can come to terms with the club and agree and hopefully, you know, he will he will make a move out from Zelesiani, which is very possible, very, very possible. But right now, Zelesiani are yet to accept any offer. All the offers that have been placed, they think it does not meet their their demand. So they want mm -hmm. to just, mm -hmm. you know, negotiate, negotiate until they reach um, so now, the conclusion. Now, what, yeah, what, 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 demand. Okay, so so now, what's their value for the player? What do they want exactly? What, like, the amount they are looking for? Yeah, right now, right now, the player's value is 600000 Euros, I think, yeah, according to transfer market, yeah. and I think this is the amount that the club is asking for. Nothing less than this. Oh, but well, I don't think if a, if, a, if a top team, you said a top team in France, if they if 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 they they really need the player, I want the player. I don't think paying six hundred six hundred k should be a problem for them. But I don't think this this business. So. You know, so sometimes, sometimes this these top clubs also will not just want to pull that. 
you know money also to say okay because they have the money they have to just put it in, into this player you know that is also not very uh, reasonable not because they are a top club but i've seen i've seen you know their offer and i know how much they place for the player but it is at the end of the day uh, but less than less than less than a million euros bro i, I don't think that, that that should be a problem for them mm-hmm. yeah, so well, some guys, yeah well, well, some but you know, sometimes coming from uh, maybe the the country, the league, also uh, it it plays a part. So sometimes they they're not sure. I don't know. But to be honest, he I think he's a valuable player. He's a valuable asset. Whoever gets him, I think you are gonna have value f- on, on on the kid. But yeah, no doubt, um, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, the, 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 the fact is, mm-hmm. Mamudu, Mamudu has been Mamudu has been important for Celestia, and I'm not sure they want to leave him just that because they want to make money yeah. out of him and these are clubs that are also trying to look at this you know their sustainability plan and through mm-hmm. some of these financial billions they also get some of these things so players like Mamou they will not want to leave it achieve even though right now the issue is very tense I'm very very much so about that so but let's see what will happen in the coming days hopefully you could make a move um to any 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 of the, the clubs that have already placed a bit for him yeah Jay you yeah. satisfied yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for it. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Huh? And keep doing the good job. Huh? Yeah. Bless. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. All right. Thank All right. We, we, we'll catch you again soon.